So if we practice bhakti, we come to goodness and we tend to be satisfied with what we are doing. But when we are trying to do business, we may be competitive and we may seek profit. We need passion over there. See, it's not that passion is necessarily bad. Nor is it that goodness is universally a virtue. All these three modes are part of nature. And passion has a function. Goodness has a function. Ignorance also has a function. So it is when we are in the mode of ignorance, basically we become inactive. At this time when the body gets rejuvenated and we take rest. When we sleep. So all the modes have their function. The point is, the intention to serve Krishna is what is most important. So, the Brahmanas serve primarily through goodness. The Kshatriyas, the Vaishyas, they primarily serve, their functional mode is primarily in passion. But everybody can permeate whatever is the natural action with the, with the mood of devotion. So, primarily what we should focus on is permeating our, all our activities with the mood of devotion. And for that, we do need a certain level of serious sadhana bhakti practice because then that connects our heart with Krishna once our heart is connected with Krishna whatever else we do that can be connected with Krishna along with doing that uh, depending on our individual natures even a brahmana can go into passion because somebody may be doing intellectual work but intellectual work they are thinking you know okay this work I, I can get this much grant by doing this and this can lead to this much prestige this can lead to this much honor the academics can also become very money minded or very prestige minded so even intellectual work can be done in passion and even business there is a whole genre of within business they talk about conscious entrepreneurship conscious leadership they talk about corporate social responsibility so all this is within business also there can be elements of goodness where people pursue business not so much profit is a natural motive for business it's a necessary motive for business but profit does not have to be the only motive for business. The business can also be done for the purpose of value creation. Okay, I am working in this particular field and I work to create value in this particular field in this way. And if I do that, while well, I am creating value through what I do, along with that, profit will naturally come. So for it's not that as devotees, we have to give up the mode of passion. And Arjuna was fighting a war in the middle of the war field. It was not that he was worrying about cultivating goodness. <laughs> At that time, his focus was on fighting. So, if certain modes of uh, certain modes of functioning are required for certain professions, we can have those modes. But our focus should be on ensuring that we have an attitude of serving Krishna. And for that, we need to associate with devotees. We need to practice sadhana bhakti directly. And eventually, each of us will find what kind of functioning is comfortable for us. We shouldn't go towards an artificial renunciation which we can't sustain. So it's just like you know, some people can lift 20 kg weight very easily, others can lift 30 kg weight easily, others may even lift 10 kg weight easily. Now whatever weight you can lift, you take foot forward. So some people, you know, they, you know, they can do one activity in a very focused way. Some people they need to do 10 activities. You now they are doing this also, doing this also, doing this. Also. Otherwise they feel I am getting bored. I am not doing much. So, you know, we all have different natures. So, rather than letting how others are functioning uh, determine how we should function, we should focus on, okay, I have this kind of drive, I have this kind of inspiration. So, if some devotees feel more inspired to do direct devotional activities and others feel more inspired to focus on their business, grow their business and contribute to that business, we should always have an inclination, the intention to serve Krishna. But specifically how we serve Krishna, at what level we serve Krishna, that can vary based on our nature. There should not be any artificial repression of our essential nature. That will not be sustainable. And as we keep practicing bhakti, we learn over a period of time what is the best way we can function. Just like when we eat. Now sometimes we may overeat. And nobody can tell us we should do only this much. You know, eat only this much chapati or this much rice or this much this. So we learn by our own experience. So like that, with respect to our profession, how much we can function of that, what is a balanced way of functioning, which does not cause too much agitation of the mind and which does not cause too much dissatisfaction in terms of, oh, I'm not doing much, I'm not doing enough. So that balance, we learn by our own intelligence and our experience. 
and whatever mode our business requires we cultivate that mode but we permeate we we accept that mode but we permeate that mode with the intention to serve Krishna does that answer your question